Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. This is Kate in the Nest and I want to first of all start with um, I'm thinking of so many people right now and especially those of this community who live in Florida. Lots of hurricanes and tornadoes and um, it just looks so shocking. Um, so um, on behalf of all of us I'm just sending thoughts and prayers out to um, those communities. The other thing has been that it has actually been a treat of YouTube today. I've watched Rachel and Sarah. I've watched Missy made this. Hello, Missy. So glad to see your beautiful work. I looked at Jane in the pin tucks. Christina creates. Everyone is making. So you know what happens to me when I watch um, watch people making wonderful things, I want to join in too. So I've snuck in before I get the <laughs> washing off the line and wafting through the nest window is some jasmine. Now I know not everyone is um, fond of jasmine and I know it used to give my dad hay fever so we could never have it in the house but for me that's very spring in Australia. So while we're working on autumn um, here in the for our Roxy's Journal of Stitchery, this is a little bit of summer. Now, I deliberately have a jug here because I have in mind, I'll sit those in there actually, there's no water in it yet, just to remind us. I want to have some fun with you today and make some pink cushions. I need, I absolutely love these. Um, these styles and we're calling them cupcakes aren't we now so I think we should go wild and see if we can make some cupcakes we might not get all the way through it and um, some long pin cushions this was a gift to me that I have a I, I just absolutely love it's the perfect uh, length and size I've made some of these before but not shown you so let's do one together and here would you believe it's it's a week since I had my final day of in, I left orange um, a week ago already. And so I've just been still putting things away and was in my little stitchy room and found this variegated cotton and some, oh, these little crochet flowers. So I'm thinking that some of these might work really well on some pin cushions. So we're going to start. <laughs> of course we're going to start. How are you going everyone? Really thinking of you and as I said in times like this I feel very blessed to be safe and we feel helpless sometimes so all we can do is think and um, and really keep in mind those who might be um, not in a, a good a place right now. I nearly sat right down then on the Betty. <laughs> I've got all my treasures around me. Oops, more on the floor. I've actually got a little way with my tidying today. So I hope you can hear I'm a little bit more cheery than I was yesterday. And let's get started. So I'm thinking, I'll share with you, I have cut... <laughs> very roughly two um circles yeah that's right kate traced around that jug and that's how it came out in cutting so that's to make everyone feel good about themselves because you can go kate in and this can't even cut in a circle but we'll leave them wonky and we'll see where they end up and let's get going with a long pin cushion i thought I'm going to do two and I have um, cut a length of blanket. Can you see me? Yeah. A length of blanket that is going to wrap over. I'm going to seam it there and then fill it and it will look like that. So it's like a big pillow. Really, really handy. Like I can have... Um, and then I will stitch the ends in. So in the end, it'll be a bit like that. So I've probably done more um, allowance than I need, but less is, oh, well, sorry, 
the opposite. I was going to say less is more, but I'm thinking I won't, I'll use that line and maybe that border there and like leave a centimetre at least around. Now the beauty, I've been studying this, the beauty of this is it's very much small rectangles and in fine, beautiful cotton with some cross stitches and a flower. So I'm not gonna copy it, but I'm gonna take those ideas and just gather some fabrics. Which one did I say? I'll start with that one. And I'm gonna to try to be very petite <laughs> with my strips. So let's get some of that one. So these have all got roses on them, sort of. This one. Um, I've got my little orange shopping bag. Let's, I haven't even put the tea cozy out yet. So that's welcome to the studio. A little bit of chenille. This is what I love, everyone. Your trip never ends. A little bit of sari. Oh, a little bit of that pink. A little bit of this one. A little bit of that. A little bit of liberty. Gosh, you're going well already. What's that in there? Oh, that's my trifold. <laughs> that's right, this became the project. There you are, there's the pouch and the swan. Buried for a moment. Oh, so I'll take the, the pouch and the swan out. Let's see what other things we've got in here. I was just basically looking for fabric. That's a bit of Rachel. And some little bits. Okay. Let's see how far we get. Just going to cut some little rectangles. And squares. So let's do three of those. Let's turn this into a rose. harvest these. I have to say hello to Idaho Julie who sent me a funny comment the other day and said you know Kate you harvest fabric and embroideries and here in Idaho we harvest potatoes. Look at this beautiful little remnant. Let's go around here. little petite one here. And let's have a think. And here's a little bit of my favourite. A little bit of this one. I've got miles too many. You can probably see that. But we, if we have to go on to our second one, we will. I'm not great at 
the mess making as some um, oh that's right that was that little pocket i'll use that somewhere else so gorgeous um a little bit of liberty cut that in half sari ribbon oh, it's exquisite and this is a bluebird of happiness um, this was a set and I've got more of this so I'm thinking that this could be the absolute star what better to gaze upon then a blue bit of happiness and some roses and a pink bow by the looks I meant to bring down some of my roses crochet roses because I thought they might go on here as well but not today thinking this fabric of Rachel's, it's the cotton. It's like that rosy colour there, a little bit of contrast. Okay, let us play. Let's take all of those over. And just go now. So just being aware that in the end it'll be this middle the middle part because the seam will be on the bottom that will be most seam Basically, we're going to build a garden. Of joy. Look at that. It's almost like that pattern. I mean, it is accidentally. It's come back to join up perfectly. And now I need to make more pin cushions because I'm using all my pins. Hang on, I just need to get the Betty base. She's got lots in her that I finished using. It's a needle. Um, I'm sure I've kept up here. strong this afternoon oh see what's happened I've gone bright already I think this is too too plain for the middle let's let's start bold like that This is what we call playing. 
the most artistic way, if you know what I mean. It's just thinking about fabric. And where it can fit. Bit of texture there. A little orange pop. I hope you're still with me and <laughs> and making along and absorbed in what you are doing because I've just forgotten to talk. And then we're going to think over the top and have a, a bird flying into the garden. We'll do that in a minute. And then on this, on these that plain bit. Actually, maybe there's too much of a ridge there. I'll save that corner for another time. Hope it's about the texture. A little rose maybe there. Okay, where we're going to start. It's more a case of I can't stop already. Right, let's see if we can just um, get some of these pieces done and down. So I'm going to see if I can do one long line getting a bit of the jeans journal in my way. I thought about saving this for Friday fun, but I want to keep working on these and Have some other ideas for Friday fun this week. Now, these could have been invisibly put down first. What's that word? Yeah, like stitched on. But Impatient Kate is just going to go right over the top of them. Just watching Sarah make her beautiful leaves for the um, Journal of Stitchery. They are just glorious. I was inspired to see if I can do that stitch. I'll leave that off for the moment, I think. <laughs> Look at that for a line. <laughs> But it won't be seen. All right, so I'm up here. Let's go back down here.
let's be thinking of one of those pieces that could go in here. Pretty. More pretty. Beautiful. Let's actually add this in first. That embroidery is beautiful. Just little stitches, we can call them seed if we want, and just tiny little stitches. So I'm having fun in this, it's like an apricot colour joining in. Okay. Now, let's find some. That one can go out there. It's got little counted threads. Maybe. I've done it again. Where are the main... Where's the style bluebird gone? All sorts of ideas. I've got the piece that I cut it from, but anyway. I hope you've got the idea there because now we're going to I'll keep working building that up and I've got the other one too and that will become an absolute garden let's put that to one side and have a little chat oh I've done it again oh, I don't like having enough yeah I have so let's, we're just going to have lots and lots of layers and colours around for the moment. So here's these, one wouldn't even attempt to call them a circle. I just drew around the jug's base. You know, these jugs and bowls and things that you see are all things I've been just grabbing for a dollar or so over the years. It's funny now that I'm looking at fabric more, I realise that I have been um, such a fan for, of op shops for a long time. I just never looked in the, <laughs> in the doily or the fabric section. Oh goodness, that's not a great start, Kate. So this is going to be just a little cupcake pin cushion to go in the Betty project box. Well, it's a basket and a nest actually. So I'm going to zip around. have 
haven't got enough thread here. Some of you have been sharing, you know, your stories and how much slow stitching has helped you in times of stress and as you worry about particular things. So that's why I'm hoping um, even if you can't be stitching, you can have a little watch to all of the YouTubers and escape for a little while. And I did just see a post on Instagram or Facebook or something that said, if you can't do something big, do something small. So that was what triggered me to just say, come and get this little pinny done. Okay, let's leave that open. This is just reused stuffing out of a Vinnie's cushion. If you get a chance, please go over and watch my friend Missy's um, latest video. She has made the most beautiful horse whiff. Such a beautiful style. And so we're so different. <laughs> um, and, you know, again, that's a lovely reminder that we admire. Um, you know, it's such a rich world. So have a look be creative and just see how she has refined um, the horsewhip and needle books and pin cushions um, as a result of following the journal of stitchery okay i'll put that little end in there i will I will finish that off because it'll have a little bit of stress, this one, in there. Chop it off. Now I haven't brought down a motive, but I have picked up some beautiful bits. I love the use of that on there. And I think a bit belongs on here as well. I love that little purple. Missy loves purple. Um, okay, so let's make a little collage. I brought that over to. Okay, have I got anything threaded up? I have. The birds are tweeting here, the sun is shining. It does feel like spring is back. We won't say that very loudly because when we all think it is, a change will come. Okay, that's the start of some layering. It's purple. I must be in the purple, purpley state of mind. Oh. See, I could do that very simply do that on top of a 
Suffolk Puff. So let's, you know me, layer upon layer upon layer. I'll take that bit of stitch off. And let's go into the lucky dip. Not enough contrast. Oh, I've got these ones. I think these came from Zoe. Oh, they're beautiful. Beautiful. Yep. I'm really taking shortcuts everyone but I know you get the idea <laughs> this is me just trying to <laughs> pile lovely lovely things on top of each other so that I can just show you how to if you haven't tried these how much fun they can be oh goodness me that's all right so let's do seed stitch here because it's really the only thing that will go through all the layers. I like that that little rosebud's in the centre. Not sure that I've eaten a, a green cupcake. if this video is going long because I'm doing two projects. I don't know whether you can even see my hands or not, but I'm looking over there because I've got some other ideas to make it even prettier. I always like to use them both ways, but... We sit this one. Yeah, I'm just gonna. These are beautiful French dotty knotties. trim. I will need some different cotton and a Suffolk on there. See how you can get carried away? <laughs> so the idea is it's layer upon layer and I can put some more stuffing around there. I need to make it rounder. Because this is already out here and I'm really having so much fun, I'm just going to go up through the center here. Just stitch that down for the moment through here because I want to put another layer of um, stuffing, I think. I'm not sure. I'll just come back out. back up in there. Oops. I'll probably add some blanket stitch and other things all around there 
and let's not forget that underneath here that was just like a little side diversion that's another you know idea if you get sort of stuck I just go other places and then come back and it helps me so look I wish I could find my beautiful big rose and bluebird they kind of gone very far um, but they're not quite with us at the moment <laughs> So until next time, I hope that um, some jasmine in a vintage jug and a little bit of fun with pink cushions has brought a smile to your face. Sending blessings as always. Please look after each other. Give someone a hug. And until next time, this is Kate in the Yes. Oh, Kate in the Yes. Kate in the Nest saying bye for now. Bye.